Yo, hey friends, welcome to Mountain Blade Warband uh, with the Floors Mod Pack. Yes, we are going to be doing an epic playthrough as uh, by popular popular demand, uh, because I know a lot of you liked my uh, Kenshi series, but uh, but this game, this game has tons and tons of content. Uh, it's, it's pretty much an open world game where you can even become king. Uh, you can own land, have siege warfare, do all types of crazy things, uh, build your own army, buy land, uh, just have farms, all types of stuff all over the world. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a massive it's a massive uh, <laughs> it's a massive game. All right, and here we are. We're gonna start a new game. Let me just show you guys my options here before we get started. It's pretty much uh, everything on a normal, average, standard uh, settings. Actually, when you start the game, all this stuff is set to like poor and stuff like that. I just want to bump it up, make sure there's a, enough of a challenge here. Uh, but there will be. Plenty of challenges uh, with politics and such things like that. As I know, this is a very politics and uh, and kind of uh, diplomacy heavy game, and there's trading and all types of stuff like that too. So there's my starting stats. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, so I'm gonna make a character just kind of based off of uh, me and my life. <laughs> so uh, here we go. We are arriving to this new continent, and uh, and here we are going to make our character. Of course, his name is gonna be Budkai. Uh, so we're going to start out as a, uh, let's see here, I think it was, yeah, my father was a traveling merchant, kind of, yeah, and then uh, I spent my early life as a, let's see here, as a, uh, what was it, oh yeah, like a uh, mummer, kind of like a, kind of like a circus, kind of a band kind of guy, whatever, you know, like in the band, jamming out, traveling the world kind of stuff, whatever, and then, uh, let's see, later I became a, uh, let's see, a troubadour, so, uh, just kind of playing music all around and all that kind of stuff. And then, reason for an adventure, let's just say religious fervor <laughs> on a righteous path to, uh, to bring all the, uh, all the land to its knees or something like that. You know, something like that. <laughs> so, uh, alright, so our starting stats are right here. And, uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and, uh, adjust these in the next screen. But, okay, I'm gonna not have Fog of War. Uh, all this stuff I'm just gonna leave off. We'll start in Swadia. Just because I really like their uh, styles. And for Troop Trees, I'm going to go with Expanded. This whole mod is going to be Expanded. Uh, the, the Expanded part of the mod pack. Which means it includes everything. Everything that the mod pack has to offer. Which is a lot. I've never played the original version of the game. But I know there's a lot that was added. So, okay. Let's go to the, uh, yeah, realistic. No quitting without saving. We're going to do this all real style. Every action is going to be permanent. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, set up a few things here for Budkai. And here's what I've decided to go ahead and put our points into. Uh, we are super charismatic, which is actually good for uh, for actually recruiting a huge army and keeping them happy, keeping morale and all that stuff good. Uh, and and our leadership is really high through the loop, uh, through the roof. So we have to pay less to our uh, comrades in arms, and everyone just stays happier. And we we can actually recruit larger forces. So that's good right off the bat. Although. Uh, we're not really going to be recruiting that many people until we get, like, land for ourselves, start taxing uh, towns and stuff like that that we may own, building, uh, you know, like, like little uh, bakeries and stuff like that. That's, that's all, like, later on down the line. But uh, it's good to have ahead of time. And uh, let's see, prisoner management, in case we get some uh, local nobles uh, captured, we can go ahead and release their uh, capture for good money. So that's why I put one point into there so we can at least manage five prisoners. Uh, per persuasion is always good. Kind of goes along with our whole like uh, sly theme. Uh, surgery and wound treatment are good because uh, we, I want my soldiers to get back up and I want us to regain health fast enough. Uh, inventory management that just came uh, with us just because I guess my dad was a merchant or something. Pathfinding is good. And then uh, let's see, uh, writing went up to three which is good. Athletics I put a point in there. And Weapon Master, so we can actually skill up our weapon skills. I, I put points into Archery. Uh, I want to focus on one-handed weapons, shields eventually, and then uh, and then Archery. I want to kind of go with that. Well, at least I say that for now, but that's that's the way I want to go for now. We'll see what happens later when we when we do uh, tournaments and arena fights to gain uh, honor and, uh, <laughs> and all types of uh, things that we need before we uh, gain favor to actually become king. It's crazy. This game is pretty deep. So, all right, Budkai has been made. And, oh my gosh, I'm going to make a different face. And there we have it. We have the Budkai <laughs> with his little uh, viola on the back. And it uh, looks like he's got some arrows and a sword. Oh, that's good at least. At least he's got some start and stuff. But uh, he is made. He's ready to go. Ready to fight uh, and slay tons and tons of bandits and marauders and all types of cool stuff like that. All right. Uh, done. 
Uh, okay, so it came by caravan, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, cool. So, let me go ahead and, uh, see what I could find in town. Actually, before I even get to town, there's a fight going on here. I got ambushed on the way here. So I think this is like a, kind of like a beginner little fight going on. Alright, there's a... Oh, wow, he's shooting arrows at me. That darn guy, look at him. <laughs> um... Oh, he better not hit me with an arrow. Darn, I can't shoot for, for, uh, for anything. <laughs> Luckily, he can't shoot either. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, I got him. I got a hit on him. Let me go ahead and uh, send another arrow his way. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, get take that. All right, here we go. Let's let's do this thing. Oh yeah, combat in this game is very active. There's different ways to. Uh, oh, I got him. Yay, I got him. Oh, oh, I could take his stuff. Let me take his stuff. Oh, I got his I got his long sword. I think. Anything else I could take? I think that's it. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, and actually, I think this guy's friendly, right? Okay, there he is. Yeah, alright, so he's gonna go ahead and invite me in. And, uh, we're gonna talk over some details. And here is the world map. Uh, we have been tasked to, uh, go ahead and recruit five more members to our party so we can go ahead and, uh, clean out Abandoned Den for our friend. And, uh, and some other things, uh, and also gain some reputation, blah blah blah. A, a nice little starter quest going on here, but let me show you the, the world. These are all the points of interest. Uh, just castles, uh, towns, uh, small castles, and uh, fortresses, all types of uh, places all around here from all these six different factions that will be going to war one day, and we will be our own faction as well. Uh, as you can see on some of these buildings, there are uh, flags. These are the uh, vassals that, that are uh, allied to the king of, this, uh, of, of these regions. And uh, <clears throat> eventually one day when we become a vassal, once we earn enough reputation, we'll get to have our own flag as well and join nobility. But, uh, but as of right now, it's going to be a difficult path since we weren't uh, of noble descent in the uh, character starting options. So <laughs> we're going to have to fight our way up there, probably uh, through being a mercenary captain, I'm guessing, and having the King Lycus and Hyrus into his, uh, I, I guess, as a mercenary captain for himself. Something like that. But alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and check out Praven some more. And uh, let's go ahead and walk the streets, just check out, get a feel for what this uh, capital city is like. And uh, we do have our horse. Our inventory is pretty empty right now. We just have a sword and bow and just, you know, basic whatevers. Nothing really fancy here. Uh, but yes, but we are in town. And they have a few vendors around here, a few, like, like weaponsmiths. So um, we can see, like, what they have for sale around here. Although I think what we have now is pretty decent. Don't think there's anything too special that we want right now. Maybe a shield. Uh... But it doesn't look like we could use any of these shields because our shield skill is not <laughs> is not there. So we'll just have to uh, parry with our sword for now. Well, after checking out the shops here, uh, I think I'm going to go to the Guildmaster and see if he has any other work for me to do here as well. Uh, he's just down this alleyway here. Actually, the local tavern's right here, but there's no use going there. Actually, you know what? Let's check it out. I want to see what they have there. Uh, for good old Bud Kai here. I, I know our friend yeah, is waiting here for our, uh, for our dudes. Uh, for our, for our party to be, uh, up to five. So, uh, so right, so we got him here, but who else do we have here? We have some travelers. Ransom Broker. What's this guy all about? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, well, I'm not really interested. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys with a wall of text. I'll read things later, and I'll break it down for you as, as we go. But, okay, so it looks like there are mercenaries here, uh, that, that are here for hire. But I think all for now, we just want to hire some peasants, just some really cheap peasants from small towns nearby. Because uh, I, I don't think we have the, uh, the income to go ahead and supply these guys with, uh, with money. And, uh, and of course, um, our band of warriors is gonna, are going to eat food as well. And all we have now are just some sausages. I, I know they like variety, so uh, this is all stuff I kind of looked up ahead of time. Uh, Alright, so let's check out the guild master. And it appears that my horse has run off. I thought I left it here. But it's okay though, he comes back uh, when I go to, to the new zone. So yeah, Guildmaster and Arena are over here. Now I do believe there is something that he had to offer here, there, and he can also let you start a business. Uh, like, like every uh, major city or, uh, or castle has a Guildmaster, and uh, he's kind of like uh, the leader around here. I mean, the king is the leader, but oh, ooh, look at that. It even says his uh, relations towards us, but okay. So if we wanted to, we could start a business, one business in each little uh, town or village. And, uh, but I'm not really sure if I'm ready to, uh, for, the, for that kind of investment yet. I think I might just buy land and see how the economy works first. Uh, but let's see here. Uh, do you happen to have a job for me? Let's take a look. Um, 
Okay. Oh, okay, perfect. So we're, we're already looking for uh, to take out some bandits later on anyway. These might be the same ones, I'm guessing. So, uh, yes, I will hunt down these bandits. And hopefully he's going to give me some cash. I mean, really what we're looking for here is prestige and just renown. Uh, so one day we can, uh, we can have enough reputation to go ahead and, uh, and do the things we want to do. Now, here's the arena. This is a really fun place. Uh, eventually, they'll have tournaments and, and all types of hosted things here where we can compete. And then if we win and our champs, then we can go uh, participate in festivals and possibly even find a woman <laughs> and marry her or, uh, or start, um, what do you call it, courting. Uh, women that we desire, noble women we desire at feasts and stuff like that. So, uh, but first we got to be uh, gladiators of the arena uh, because we are not of noble descent. So let's go ahead and have a few practice fights here and uh, <laughs> and see how we do. Um, yeah, I want I want to join. I want to join. Uh, la 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 la. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Uh, give me a uh, one-handed sword and shield. Now this isn't an actual arena fight. Uh, or not a tournament. This is just like a little practice thing before the arenas even begin. Just a bunch of random guys smashing each other up. And uh, <laughs> let's see if I can go ahead and ruin this guy's day. Let me go an upper head. Uh, oh gosh. Two versus one. I'm not ready for this. I'm not skilled for this kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. Someone's shooting arrows at me. Get out of here. Oh yeah. Definitely knocked out. <laughs> but luckily, uh, these are just wooden weapons. Okay. That was just like a little taste of that. Um, definitely got to get better at that. And as we're leaving the, uh, the arena, I noticed that there's like a guard right here, right? I just kind of like talk to him. By the way, you can access all the stuff through these options here. Uh, but but I really just kind of like uh, just doing it on foot sometimes. Oops. See, like, there we go. This is what I don't want to do. It's it's more of a uh, an immersion if you just kind of walk there yourself. So that was really the door that we were just going to go through. Uh, eventually, you, you can use those shortcuts. But all right, so let's talk to the king of this place. Now, I know... I know he's very picky. I mean, like, if you uh, if he asks you something or like offers you something and you deny it or you don't want to help him out, then he just kind of takes a offense to it. So <laughs> let's just. <laughs> I am Bud Kai. Uh, maybe I should be like at your service, sir. Yeah, might maybe like that. Uh, Lord of Praven. Blah 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 blah. Uh, let me ask him if he has any tests for him. Uh, I, I do know that um, you can go ahead and enlist in an army and follow him around and battle uh, wars with him and all that kind of stuff. We may do that eventually. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to see what what, uh, what he has here to offer. And here we go, getting our foot in the door. Uh, I, I did ask him if we could be a vassal before this. He's like, no, get out of here. You got to prove yourself in combat. So, all right. So let's let's go ahead and deliver this letter for him. We have 30 days to do it. That should be enough time. Just kind of mess around and get other things done. <laughs> Although we better not mess this up or else he's going to like hate our guts. So, uh, all right, thanks, man. Thanks, King. Uh, see you later. Oh, you got a nice bedchamber here. Okay, all right, bye. I'll see you later. Bye. So our first mission in the Kingdom of Swadia is to go ahead and deliver the King's letter <laughs> to his, uh, whatever, buddy or something. And, uh, yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and head on out here. Uh, now, as you, as you run along the way, you'll see, like, little bandit troops uh, that kind of pop up. And, uh, and usually they'll, they'll lead you to like bandit hideouts and stuff like that. And there's all types of like, uh, you know, things you can infiltrate as well that aren't even shown on the map. But right now, let's just make a bead line for this place. Looks like we got lucky. Um, <laughs> oh, you come across a lone warrior traveling. The oh, 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 a tournament. We need to get into some of that stuff. Um, hmm. Well. I'm down for a tournament. Okay, so let's go ahead. You're outside the castle. I see better court. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, let's let's hail the guard, and uh, yeah, we we can go inside, right? Yeah, no, we can go inside. They're not gonna kill us, are we? <laughs> yeah. All right, good. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, deliver this letter. And uh, oh, there's there's actually no peasants here for us to hire. I, I don't think. Let's take a walk around. I have to say, this is a really beautiful city here. This, they've got uh, a nice boat out in the uh, <laughs> out on the river, and uh, a nice little like uh, I guess plaza over there. But let's go talk to this king now. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. Uh, ooh, oh, this is nice. Okay, let's. I, I think this is the guy we have to deliver the uh, letter to, right? Uh, if if I read correctly, which I didn't really read. Um, uh, oh, oh gosh, I better not mess this up. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Bud Kai. Um, <laughs> do I know you? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, he's a vassal. I got you. See, he's no king or anything like that. He serves the king, right? All right, so I've not heard of you, but we have the look of that. He might know. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully I do have the look of that. Uh, let's see here. Bring a message from king. Perfect. Yes, there we go. All right, we got some reputation. All right, so, uh, all right, time to hire some people. 
Uh, there was a few surgeons around in the courtyard, but I don't want to hire surgeons or anyone specialized yet. I just want to get some peasants. And across the coastline, we run to uh, Blani or whatever <laughs> to find some. Yes, well, there's some volunteers here. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually visit this village as well. Normally, you click this and it shows you how many uh, uh, peasants can go ahead and uh, join you up. And you can find, you know, more specialized units and stuff like that, and taverns and uh, street squares, and you can find monks and surgeons and all types of really, uh, like, unusual units. And, and even, uh, like, like companions that are actually heroes themselves that you can equip and armor uh, as well. But, okay, so let's just, uh, let me just show you guys how you can find these uh, peasants if you're actually walking in the village, because that's kind of fun. Uh, so, alright, so let's just, <laughs> and every village here is so different. Oh, man, this is great. Okay, so all we gotta do is find the village elder, and just kind of talk to him. And then he'll be like, he'll either, uh, he can offer, like, missions and stuff like that, and the elder is the same as pretty much the guild master in cities, but this is like a little town. So let's see what he's got here. Uh, he's kind of ugly face, okay. Uh, you can have any tests, or so he can give me some, uh, some work or whatever. But uh, I'm just going to be like, any lads in this village who want to seek their fortune. And he's like, I got two of them. I'll take them. I pay you like no money and they're mine. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do a mission for this guy. We, we got enough missions as of right now. So uh, I, I really just want to impress the king, really. I don't really care about this guy right now. So, okay, we got two people in our party. And they should show up. Uh, let's see here. I think, oh, <laughs> don't punch anyone. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and leave this place. Buy supplies from the peasants? No, we're good. We got we got sausages, we're good. So let's go ahead and check out our uh, our character and stuff like that. Um not not character. Where's the party? Here we go. So we got two peasants. We got two of these guys. And eventually we can level them up and train them into uh like melee guys or uh, horsemen or archers. Probably gonna make them archers uh later on. So off to uh, uh Elbriel <laughs> or whatever. Oh no, there's bandits chasing us, but we are faster. We got a really fast mount and not too much stuff. Yeah, we got looters all around here. Usually, uh usually these forests are kinda dangerous areas. That's usually where you can find like a bandit hideout. Although you can loot a bandit hideout, which is kinda nice. So alright, we have made it to this place. Uh they do have volunteers here as well. Let's just um let's see what they got here. Okay, so they got four. Uh, the heck with it. Let's do it. Let's get all four of these guys. We should have more than enough now. Four, five, six. Yeah, we have enough. Uh, actually, I really just want to... Let's see what they have here to buy. Okay, cool. They got some bread. I'll take some bread. Yeah, because we, we feed in a lot of mouths now. We feed in like seven mouths. Cheap ale. <laughs> oh, I don't think they deserve it. If we have a good fight, I'll get in some ale. Uh, yeah, for whatever ails them. But okay, so let's, uh, get out of here. And I guess head back to town. Also, uh, we, we did have this added to our quest log, this tournament. And uh, and this city right here is just right over here. We gotta be here in 14 days uh, to compete with our noobness uh, at a tournament that's going on here. I can't wait to do that. But first we gotta go ahead and uh, flush, out our, uh, flush out some bandits. Or smash up some bandits. Should we try to go straight across here? I don't know. But I feel pretty confident with our seven guys. So, let's just try to go straight to Praven, and, uh, and I guess just keep an eye out. Now, see, since we don't have that many troops uh, on horseback, our speed, traveling speed, is decreased since we have a bunch of, like, foot guys. When it was just me on a horse, it was a lot faster, so now we're actually kind of, like, in a danger zone. This is kind of stupid, but I'm feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Hopefully, we'll make it there without issue. And we've actually made it here without issue. It's totally amazing. All right, so before we even go ahead and uh, and do this uh, visit this guy at the tavern, I do want to buy some uh, land since we have like two thousand plus uh, money just kind of left around. Um, so we can go ahead and uh, yeah, let's see here. Oh, buy an existing acre. How many acres are available? Let's see here. Um, and do we want to buy here? Because this place isn't isn't really doing. Uh, I was talking to all the locals. It doesn't seem like the economy is booming here really well. That's pretty expensive per acre, but we do get a uh, return every two weeks. So we can come here and collect money for free uh, after the initial investment. I think, let's go ahead and just buy two acres here. I think it's good to, to uh, diversify. So we'll have like two acres here. We'll buy some acres somewhere else. So now we should be able to uh, get some money, at least revenue, every two weeks from here. So let's go to the tavern and uh, say hello to our friend. Uh, let's see here. He's probably going to be so happy. He's like, oh, you finally hired some people. <laughs> That's right. Splendid work. 
And now we are traveling on our merry way to go ahead and prance some uh, some bandits around here. I'm just going to the woods so we can go ahead and uh, because our mission is to go ahead and uh, and fight them, beat them, and then find out where their uh, hideout is, where they where they are hiding out at. So uh, and it also kind of uh, helps our other mission. Wait, what was this? Looters? Is that 16? I don't want to fight 16 looters. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's find like a smaller group around here somewhere. Uh, and hopefully they'll give us the info that we need. No, I don't want to get there. Uh, I see I see a group of 11 looters. I'm going to go ahead and take these guys on right around here. Uh, surrender or die. That's right. You better believe it. Okay, so let's go ahead and charge the enemy. Uh, okay, so 7 versus 11. I'm going to tell everyone right off the bat to follow me. Oh, it looks like a jungle around here. Okay. Okay, good. So we got some good visibility, some nice terrain. I'm going to tell everyone to wait on hold position on top of this hill here. Because, like, all this, all that really does matter. Oh, you know what? Let me stop and take some shots before they get here. <laughs> if I could even hit... Oh, they're throwing rocks at me. Get out of here, man. You guys crazy. I can't believe you're throwing rocks at someone that's on a horse. Because you're just going to get, like, your face slashed up. You know what I'm saying? All right, so... <laughs> they're throwing rocks. I don't want my guys... Oh, my guys are throwing rocks, too. My peasants. Am I getting hit? Oh, I just ran that guy over. <laughs> oh, what a... What a Oh, stop throwing the rocks! Take that, you peasant! Oh my gosh, these guys are like my worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not hitting anyone. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, try to get a better run here. These these stone throwers are like the worst. Oh gosh, not hitting anyone. There we go. I got that guy with the little uh, shepherd's thingy, and uh, it's kind of funny. These our our peasants up there are kind of working as like archers, uh, but like stone throwers. I love it. All right, so let's see if we can go ahead and clean this up here. Not bleeding too badly. There we go, got that guy. Knocked him down. Dropped his cane and all that stuff. I tell you what, it's a pretty big fight. But, uh... <laughs> oh, look at this go. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this thing. Oh, there we go. Our horse is getting damaged. Take that, son. Uh, I might go ahead and call our peasants. Oh, gosh, no, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah, I got knocked off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now what? Crap. Crap, hopefully our peasants can go ahead and beat the rest of these guys. I'm gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be knocked out for a while. Look, luckily in this game, heroes don't die, but these peasants can die. If they don't, like, do a good job fighting, I'm gonna lose them. Unless my, uh, surgeon skill, uh, brings them back to life if, after they die. Which is, like, a small chance of them doing it. I think it's, like, 40 or something, or 30, or... It depends what skill it's at. Uh, come on, guys, you can do it! Get them! <laughs> oh, this is pathetic. Well, it seems like the bandits have run away, but they have left, uh, the, the ones that were downed, uh, left some stuff for us, uh, at the end of the battle. It's a shame I didn't get the end of the battle, but that's okay. So there we go. I'm gonna get some, uh, some nice loot here. Uh, this is a huge upgrade to, uh, to leg armor. So this is nice. We get all this stuff to go ahead and buy and sell. Uh, just throw this stuff on. I mean, this is a really heavy piece of armor, but, I mean, like, look at that body armor protection. It's great. So I'm gonna loot anything that's of any value around here, pretty much. Uh, and then we'll just sell it, obviously, when we get back to town. Uh, I mean, like, we're gonna be a little slower getting back to town, but I think we'll be alright. Just kinda grab this stuff. I got some nice armor here, there. Some daggers. Some, uh, I mean, look at all the stuff we got from all these guys. <laughs> Drop, look at their hats. I need a hat. Give me that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and find out where this bandit base is. And, uh, and continue uh, conquering the, the world, maybe. <laughs> All right. Bye.